video, I'm going to show you how to work out the fraction of another quantity. So if you know how to multiply fractions, that's great, because that's exactly what we're going to do now. So in the first one, if I have to work out one third of 63, I'm just multiplying them together. Now, just remember, the number 63 is the same as writing 63 over 1. It's exactly the same thing. So now I can multiply the fractions together. So remember, you need to multiply the numerators together. So 1 times 63 is 63. And then afterwards, the denominators. So 3 times 1 is 3. And we can simplify this fraction. In fact, 63 is divisible by 3. It divides exactly, so the answer, when we divide 63 by 3, is 21. So 21 is one third of 63. On to the next one. So again, I'm going to multiply that fraction with the number 72. Now, just as before, remember, 72 is the same as saying 72 over 1. So now I'm going to multiply the numerators together. So if I multiply 3 by 72, I get 216. And now if I multiply the denominators together, 8 times 1 is 8. So this fraction simplifies as well. Okay? Don't just leave it like that. Always try and simplify your answer. Well, this one is exactly divisible by 8. I can divide 216 by 8 because 8 goes into 21 two times, and there's a remainder of five. And eight goes into 56 exactly seven times. So the answer is in fact 27. But if you don't know your eight times table up to this number, and you can't spot that it's exactly divisible by eight, don't panic. All you need to do is simplify this fraction until you can't simplify any more. So you might just decide to divide both of these numbers by two, and then by two again, and keep simplifying until you can't anymore. And you should arrive at exactly the same answer. Okay, on to the next one. So now we're working out the fraction of another fraction. But again, we're just multiplying them together. So I'm going to multiply the numerators, so two times one is just two, and then the denominators, five times three is 15, and that's it. I can't even simplify this fraction, so I found the answer already. Now, the last one. Again, I'm multiplying the two fractions together. So I'm going to start by multiplying the numerators. So 3 times 8 is 24. And then the denominators, so 4 times 9 is 36. Now, I can simplify this fraction. Okay, there are, there's a common factor in 24 and 36. The highest common factor is 12. If you can divide by the highest common factor, you'll get to your final simplified fraction even quicker. Okay? It doesn't matter if you can't spot it, it will just take you a little bit longer to find your simplified fraction. But if you can, you'll go straight to the final answer. So 24 divided by 12 is 2, and 36 divided by 12 is 3. So there we go, 3 quarters of 8 ninths is equal to 2 thirds. So there you go, finding the fraction of a quantity. So you're just multiplying the fractions together. Just remember to always simplify at the end to get full marks. Okay, so bye-bye for me.